Hey guys, welcome to an advanced druid guide for Boomkins patch 4.3. Uh, I just want to talk about some uh, advanced strategies for Boomkin. Uh, you can see I'm starting with the opener. Best thing to do is you pre-plant your mushrooms, uh, drink your volcanic potion on countdown, and then just start on your rotation insect swarm and explode the mushrooms as the fight begins. Uh, moon fire, and then your two cooldowns, so starfall and trees as well get those going. Uh, make sure you target them behind the enemy so they don't have to move very far at all. If you target them in front then they will actually path around the back of the enemy so always always plant the, the trees just behind the enemy. Uh, starfire and just starfire over up until we hit solar. If you're already in solar at the start of the fight that is going to be a much more powerful powerful beginning because you're going to get stronger dots. You'll see in this next example now we're going to start in solar, and it's going to be a much you're going to get much more DPS opening up up to around um, I'm level 392 here, so you'll get up to about a 38-40k start, which is uh, equivalent to to most other classes. So shrooms, get your dots on, get your star fallen trees behind the enemy, and then just start wrathing away and start your rotation. Your trinkets will kick off as well, and uh, you want to try and get as much dot up time with your with your potion as you can. So that's the that's the opener. Just practice your opener a couple of times, and try and time your volcanic potion so uh, it hits when the countdown ends. Okay, next thing, refreshing in solar. Uh, you want to use a cast time spell before refreshing your dots. This is because your previous nuke, if it's not hit the target yet, you'll not be in eclipse. So you can't cast insect swarm uh, with with its boost from Eclipse so you need to make sure that you do one cast time bath or star surge before refreshing your dots. Refreshing in Luna you can just refresh your dots straight away so as soon as you hit Luna if you need to you can refresh your insect swarm and your moon fire and just and just carry on. It's always better to do your uh, stars as well your star fall in Luna if you can if you can line that up but uh, otherwise just use it on cooldown so that's not a problem, but it's important for solar to do one one extra nuke. Uh, the Eclipse Race, if you've got uh, like Insignia of the Corrupted Mind or any haste trinkets, you may be able to get from one side uh, to the other Eclipse. So you'll see here that I'm just racing to the other side. I just don't make it, but it's close and a lot of the times you can make it if you've cast a couple of nukes before your trinket kicks in, you can pretty much make make the full the full length and refresh your dots uh, from the haze trinket as well. For star surge usage, if you've got uh, use it on cooldown, pretty much that's the the basic rule. Just use it on cooldown between zero and 85 energy. Above that, I'd save it. Just do one more nuke and then use your star surge uh, unless it's solar. Uh, so save for eclipse. If it's above 85 energy, do not use it on your opener though. It will weaken your opener because it takes you longer to get to solar. So this is for any time apart from when you're opening the fight. So make sure you get to solar as quick as you can uh, when you're opening the fight. Uh, do not use an instant cast star surge as soon as you enter solar. Make sure you use a wrath first. That's pretty important. So you'll get a proc for star surge. Uh, you want to save it, you want to do a, a, a wrath first, then you want to do your dots if they're just running out, and then you want to use your instant cast star surge, so they all t take the benefit from the eclipse. That's that's pretty damn important. You can see from the video that I'm, that I'm doing that. If you've got the four piece tier 13, it is not a major difference to your rotation. In fact, it's, it's pretty crap for tier 14, uh, tier 13 even but uh, it gives us a bit of extra DPS, 10% extra DPS on it, so it's better than nothing but a lot of the time your uh, when it actually procs it will uh, reduce the time on it anyway, so the 5 seconds fewer doesn't change the uh, doesn't change the tactics at all. It's important that you do use Star Surge on cooldown as much as you can, it's easy to miss so have it in your face, use some power rollers to, to show you when it's back up. You can see that I've just got a countdown to use it, but uh, I miss it myself quite a lot. But make sure you do use it as soon as it as soon as it appears. Even especially even if you have just come out of your last eclipse and it's just come back up, uh, just use it. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to show you the rotation. So 
as it all comes together. So enjoy, guys.